السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ فلی یو آر ویل اینڈ فائن اینڈ مسٹ بی لسننگ ٹو دا لیکچرس سو ایز یو آلریڈی نو وی ہیڈ اسٹارٹیڈ آور ٹاپک آف ہارڈ ویئر ان وچ وی وار ایکچولی ڈسکسنگ دی ٹاپک آف انپٹ ڈیوائسز وی وار ڈن ود کی بورڈ وی وار آن دس ٹاپک آف پوائنٹنگ ڈیوائسز وی آر آلریڈی ڈن ود ماؤس اینڈ ٹائپس آف آل دی ٹائپس آف اے ماؤس um today uh, we are uh, going to talk about another pointing input device that is track ball so what is basically a track ball a track ball is a pointing device it performs functions like a mouse but it is basically a stationary device means if you remember the topic of mouse mouse was all the time moving either you talk about laser mouse optical mouse or you talk about mechanical mouse we had to or we have to move the mouse on some sort of surface so the mouse was actually movable but what happens with a trackball as you can see here in uh, this uh, picture that the trackball is not movable the below portion of the uh, track ball is stationary static only this part this part of the track ball this ball adjusted or attached on the top of the track ball is movable so we can say that basically a track ball is a stationary device just a ball attached on top of uh, it uh, on uh, on its top surface actually moves and the movement of the cursor or the pointer on the screen is controlled by that ball so uh, we can say that that ball is basically movable the track ball is not movable the ball is rotated or rolled with with fingers or palms of the hands to move the pointer on the screen like mouse a track ball also has buttons used to send the commands to the computer so the track ball is usually available with with the laptop computers it is fixed on its keyboard it is also available as separate input device we can say that uh, a track ball is an input device used to enter motion data into computers or other electronic devices it serves the same purpose as a mouse but it is designed with a movable ball on the top which can be rolled in any direction instead of moving the whole device whole track ball you simply roll the movable ball attached on the top of the track ball because the below portion of the uh, track ball is stationary uh, the track ball is stationary or static it cannot it is not movable only the ball attached on that track ball is movable so uh, the track ball is basically designed for uh, computers and it generally s- serves as mouse replacement track ball is basically used as mouse replacement uh, and it is primarily used to move the cursor on the screen like mouse computer track ball devices also include buttons which can serve as left click and right click buttons and may also be used to enter other commands while track balls are most commonly used with computers they may also be found in other electronics uh, such as games consoles and uh, etc So besides the capability to be built into various devices track balls have a number of other advantages over mouse uh, and we will talk about those uh, advantages later while working with a track ball the arm and wrist motion are less compared to working with a mouse when you work with a mouse all the time you have to move your arm and your hand and your wrist so the physical strain is less uh while using the track ball as compared to the mouse so is it is basically a pointing device it has a ball on attached on on its top it is stationary device that is a very important point that it is track ball is stationary it, uh, it is not moved only the ball attached on its top surface is moved it has a socket containing sensors inside it it detects the rotation of the ball it uses uh, uh, the users roll the ball in order to control the movement of the cursor or uh, movement of the pointer on the screen and it has two rollers x axis and y axis we will uh, d- discuss that uh, thing in its structure so important thing to know is that how does a track 
ball walk a trackball is essentially a different kind of computer mouse it is a plastic case containing a ball on the top that moves the computer cursor around on the screen and the user can move the ball with their thumb or fingers etc so if you look at the inside uh, structure of a trackball now you can see a huge ball a heavy ball uh, placed inside a trackball and uh, so this is a ball and here you can see that these are these these are the horizontal rollers while these are the these these cylinder like structures these are the vertical rollers these are vertical and this is the horizontal rollers now what is the purpose of these horizontal and vertical rollers actually these horizontal and vertical rollers are uh, actually placed uh, with uh, uh, with or you can say on all angles or on such angles of that rotating ball that when you move this rotating ball with your uh, with your fingers with your hand actually these rollers support this ball in order to move in any uh, possible direction so these rollers help actually they help out this ball to uh, move in certain directions this ball actually causes a friction with these rollers when it moves it uh, actually uh, moves with the help of these rollers and it causes a friction when it moves uh, or when it presses uh, with these rollers while moving as you can see that in old blackberries or blackberry uh, smartphones uh, a trackball uh, uh, was also present a track ball was present uh, on top of all the other keys of that smartphone some advantages of trackballs include uh, the small footprint since they don't require a mouse pad or large area to move like a mouse uh, and uh, they just require a fingertip control uh, which offer more accuracy and improved uh, and improved accuracy so uh, advantages are that less work surface is required for a trackball to function uh, they don't need a mouse pad or proper surface in order to uh, move as they are stationary do they don't need to move only their ball gets rolled in different directions as the trackball is stationary the trackball allows continuous and fast scrolling of the ball attached on top of it and does not require repositioning uh, precision co control is more in case of trackball uh, and uh, unlike other input devices trackballs require only minimal cleaning disadvantages are that uh, trackballs are uh, physically larger as compared to mouse as they are a little more expensive uh, than the mouse the uh, the um, selection is not as broad as other input devices in order to uh, make your concepts more clear let's talk about the differences between a mouse and trackball uh, the mouse has to be moved when you when you use a mouse either you move it on a touch on on a mouse pad either you move it on a table on a glossy surface etc but you have to move the mouse while on the uh, contrary a uh, trackball is stationary it is static you do not need to move the trackball just a ball attached on the top of the trackball needs to be moved in order to control the movement of the cursor on the screen second difference is that a mouse consists of a metal or plastic uh, casing or plastic housing or uh, a ball at its base and is rolled on a flat horizontal surface so a mouse has a plastic casing uh, has can have a ball on its uh, below surface on its base and you need to um, move it on a flat horizontal surface while when it comes to trackball you need to use a trackball by rolling the ball uh, that ball which is attached on top of the surface of the trackball and you need to just use your palms and fingers uh, when it comes to mouse they are 
popular among light computer users when it comes to trackballs they are popular among heavy computer users uh, when it comes to mouse it has the ability to transmit textual information uh, text based data uh, you can select text based data with your mouse as well as icons or symbols while when it comes to trackball you can uh, it can be placed on uh, any surface uh, if you are talking about the surface difference then we can say that trackball can be placed on any surface while with mouse we can say that uh, uh, in uh, uh, certain types of mouse like mechanical mouse cannot be placed on surface they need to be placed on uh, mouse pads when it comes to optical mouse uh, it cannot be placed on glossy surfaces and when it comes to laser mouse it can be placed on any type of surfaces uh, but uh, the uh, placement of uh, uh, mouse is restricted as compared to the trackball uh, mouse is most commonly used uh, pointing device as compared to the trackball so here we are done uh, with all the concepts of our second uh, pointing device that is trackball so moving on towards another uh, type of our pointing device third type of pointing device that is joystick we are done with mouse pointing device we are done with track uh, ball input device now we are uh, we are going to discuss the third pointing device that is a joystick so what is basically a joystick joystick is an input device consisting of a stick that pivots on a base and reports its uh, angle or direction to the device it is controlling as you can see here that uh, this is the joystick okay and uh, this is the stick the stick which you actually uh, control through your hands and uh, this is the base this is the base on which this stick is attached and you can move that stick or rotate that stick in every angle so this is the stick uh, then this is the base this is the trigger this red button this is the trigger trigger when you press that button you trigger or you activate the joystick then uh, this is the this is the extra button then this is the auto fire switch auto fire switch then this is the throttle this is this this yellow strip this is called as throttle this is the hat switch and this is the this 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 is the suction cup this is the suction cup basically uh, a sticking a sticking uh, you can say a, a sticking cup you can stick your joystick in order to maintain its balance with the surface of the table using the suction cup so joystick basically uh, translates the movement of uh, of this uh, uh, stick it translates the movement of this plastic stick uh, into the electric information into the binary code so a joystick is also known as control column and uh, joysticks are often used to control to play video games and usually have one or more push buttons uh, joysticks are also used for controlling machines such as cranes tractors trucks underwater uh, vehicles wheelchairs surveillance cameras etc so basically we can say that a joystick is an input device that controls a character or machine in a computer program such as uh, some uh, plane in a flight simulator game so they look similar to the control device you would find on an arcade game but nearly always include extra buttons for additional functionality so uh, when was uh, the first joystick invented it was uh, invented at the u.s naval research laboratory by cb uh, Merrick, M I R I C K Merrick, and uh, in 1926, and uh, that joystick was basically uh, was two axis electronic joystick. 
most computer joysticks uh, can be connected to the computer through a USB port. So basically the basic definition for a joystick can be the joystick is a device that translates your hand movement into electrical signals. It translates your hand movement into electrical signals and the movements are converted by the microprocessor afterwards into the binary code. In other words, joystick translates entirely physical movements and uh, although joystick looks similar to control devices that can be found, uh, but they have their own special uh, purpose that they actually translate electrical signals or physical movement into the binary code. When you uh, are using uh, basically the stick of a joystick, uh, basically it, uh, it moves its angle and direction varying with respect to the base. Most joysticks are two dimensional although some joysticks are one dimensional or even three dimensional too. So how does a joystick work? Essentially joystick translates the movement of your hand into a digital format into binary format and sends it to the PC software for interpretation to perform the necessary action. The joystick is probably the most um, most uh, unique device that gamers encounter in the video game parlor. So joysticks can be used in various ways from computing, controlling wheelchair to flying supersonic aircrafts. So this is it for now. Uh, till this uh, moment we are done with the mouse, trackball and joystick. Inshallah in our next lecture we would uh, study about touch screen which is a pointing device till then allah hafiz